All right, good morning. Actually, it is morning, uh, but for me right now, I'm recording this at 4.20 something a.m. So uh, we're, we've been here at the church all day and all night. It's been fun. And so hopefully everything I say makes sense. So I wanted to cover this verse here out of the book of Proverbs. It says this, uh, Proverbs 27, 14. He who blesses his friend with a loud voice rising early in the morning, it will be counted a curse to him. No, I'm kidding. I'm not really doing that today. That was just a joke. Um, this is what I really want to talk about out of Proverbs 29. And listen, the more that I've been reading Proverbs 29, there's a lot of verses in here that really stand out to me um, as I'm looking at what's going on in the news with our country. And man, I just read these verses and it's like, man, alive. But this, this is the thing that caught my attention. Uh, this is Proverbs 29, verse 8. Scoffers set a city on fire, but wise men turn away wrath. And what I have noticed lately, especially that's happening in the world around us, is people are, are really running towards this mechanism of literally setting the city on fire. You know, not, not literally um, arson, not that, but getting people to um, basically pushing them to the brink intentionally for their political gain of pushing people to the brink of rioting and all of that stuff just, just so that they can maintain their grip on power. And I think it's very wise for us to look at what the scripture says here. It says, wise men turn away wrath. Okay. What I think is missing so often that's happening today in what's happening today is that there are no answers. There's just accusations. Okay. This is all that's going on. There are people act, accusing each other of everything. And really, it's just um, causing trouble. And when I look at this, you know, just today, um, earlier today, we did a live show. I did a live show with Pastor James. Uh, you can see that on my channel. Um, you just look through the videos, you'll see it there. And we talked about how uh, Congress right now is is toying with passing this bill to thwart um, domestic terrorism. And I mean, look, there's plenty of bills out there. There's plenty of laws on the books to get that done. But they're literally doing that just because they know that everybody is upset with the things that have happened lately and they're upsetting surely but they're using this for their political gain these are the same people right now they're trying to form these government entities to literally spy on americans and identify americans as terrorists okay to to put those people in in a certain camp um, all the while, these are the same people that have been pushing defunding police and pushing so many wicked agendas at the local level. The national level, they're starting bigger, you know, expanding powers of federal bureaus. And at the local level, they are diminishing the, the feet on the ground, the police. Um, and man, it's, it's getting nuts. 
But I think it comes all back to this scoffer setting the city aflame. I think that's exactly what the scripture is um, showing us. The, the heart and the intention of these people is not for you and I. It's the agenda is self-preservation. Completely self-preservation and completely self-centered. And there are a million examples of this. And it's getting crazy. Okay. I think right now, the thing that we need to focus on is we need to focus on standing in God's word and knowing and expressing the truth of God's word when people are talking about this because what is being said right now in the public discourse has nothing to do with truth. It has everything to do with the, an emotional response to a situation and then using that emotional response to form, uh, basically to manipulate people's opinions. And it's getting crazy. It's getting crazier and crazier and crazier by the minute. And listen, if, if you're not grounded and established in God's word, you're going to be in that place where you're just being tossed to and fro, right? You're going to be in that place where you're not established in principle and reason of the scripture. And so you will basically fall prey to these manipulators. And I think now more than ever, it is so important for the church to each person individually be established in God's word, to be daily reading, studying, and then to be courageously sharing the truth of God's word with people, honestly, that don't want to hear it. And the people around you. Even if they look at you like you're crazy, that's fine because the day will come and I know that, that the Lord uses his word like this. Those seeds get planted and the day will come when somebody, basically the lights will come on. The, the people that you share with will be in a situation or whatever and then that the seed of God's word that was planted when you shared it with another individual will start to bear fruit. They'll see the truth revealed in that minute and the situation in their life, and it will start to take an effect. So we need to be those people that are planting those seeds, that we're sharing the, the word of God with people that don't want to hear it. I'm not saying necessarily that the point is to be annoying to everyone around us, but to look for the opportunities to express the truth and to use those opportunities very wisely and to know God's word. So I hope that that encourages you today. We need to also continue to pray for these crazy leaders and rulers that exist. I don't want to call them leaders. They're rulers, the ruling class that exists in our country and in the world today. We pray that what is truly happening is um, revealed clearly by uh, the light. And I hope that uh, you're blessed today. May God richly bless you. And as usual, please, if this ministered to you, leave a comment, or if you have something to say about it, leave a comment. Um, I'm sure it'll be fun to read some of those. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, do that. Like, uh, you know, like the video and all that stuff. And I will catch up with you tomorrow.